Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So today I am going to be doing a makeup declutter. So I have accumulated a lot of makeup over the past month or so I'd say now I've started my Instagram and I've got a lot of products that I now don't use anymore just because I found things that I prefer and um, so I'm just going to be going through my makeup and getting rid of the things I don't use and giving them to family and friends so I'm literally just going to be going through and getting rid of the products that I don't use to make space for new products so like I said everything that I'm getting rid of will go to family or friends and anything that's expired will just go in the bin so I normally am quite good with like expiry dates on products I will get rid of things when I think they're expired and I usually go through these drawers quite often but I haven't done for a while just because I wanted to use it as like a video and I need to just basically organise these drawers so I have the Alex 5 drawers and because I'm expanding my collection I've just run out of room basically and I am literally just need to reorganise them so I'm just going to get straight into the video so starting off in this basket here I just keep my skincare and my sponges so this basket is actually okay there's nothing in here that i need to get rid of it's just basic things that i'll use most days really um i go through these things quite quickly obviously because it's just lip balm and skincare so this basket is fine and then moving on to foundation this is where it gets interesting because i have a lot and i have a lot that i don't use so i'm literally just going to go through pick out the things that i don't use check how long they've been open so like look at the dates on the back because if you didn't already know there's like a little jar symbol on the back of your makeup products which will tell you how long you can have products open before you need to get rid of them so first of all this foundation i used this in a video not so long ago this is the revolution matte base foundation and i just didn't really get on with it i found it too heavy for my skin and uh, it's just cakey. I have foundations that I prefer, so I think I will get rid of this. So then I also have the Ordinary Coverage Foundation, the high coverage one. This is a little dark for me, I'm not going to lie, but I really like this foundation. So I think I will keep this. And then moving on to my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I love this foundation. This is like my go-to foundation, um, so I definitely won't be getting rid of that. And then I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I bought this for my last video and I really really like this foundation, I've used it in my last few videos. The Revolution Conceal and Define foundations, I'm going to be keeping both of these. I have the Standard one and the Conceal and Hydrate. I actually do prefer the Conceal and Hydrate but I will keep this just because it's got a doe fit applicator. And I don't really want to be giving my family and friends a foundation where I've been putting it onto my face and then dipping it back into the pot. So I will just keep that and use it up. Now I have the number 7 Beautifully Matte Foundation. I have literally not used hardly any of this, but I just don't get on with it anymore. This was my go-to foundation for quite a while, especially while I was in school. But I literally, I just, I don't know what it is about it now, but I just don't enjoy it. I find it goes so cakey on my skin and it doesn't sit very nicely, so I am going to be getting rid of this one. Next I have the CYO foundation, so I'm not going to lie, um, I don't use this very often but I do really enjoy it so I will be keeping that and I'm going to wipe everything down before I put it back away. <laughs> And then next I have two L'Oreal Infallibles. I have these in obviously a lighter shade and a darker shade. This darker shade is my fake tan shade, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, I will be keeping both of these foundations. And my mum sometimes uses this foundation um, because she is my fake tan shade normally. <laughs> that just shows how pale I am. Next I have another foundation by Revolution. This is the Revolution Pro Foundation Drops in the shade F1 again. I love this foundation. It's such a lightweight foundation but it is quite dewy on my skin but I will be keeping it anyway just because I really really enjoy using it. Next moving on to the Wet n Wild foundation. I used this in my Cheapest Beauty Bay makeup video and I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a little bit dark for me, but I'm going to keep it anyway and give it another go. Next, I have the Primark Matte Foundation. I love this foundation. It is such full coverage. This is a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this. I actually don't know if this is in date. I should probably smell it. I usually just go by the smell of products, to be honest, and if they don't smell right, I will kind of get rid of them. You can usually tell by if they smell quite chemically. I don't think I've had it a year and this says after a year you need to get rid of it so I think I'm going to keep it. 
Okay, and then finally for foundations, I have the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. This I have used like a handful of times and I just don't see the hype around it to be honest. Um, but I do kind of want to give it more of a go because you can see like I've hardly used it. Also, you'll see in all my drawers, I have these little like gel um, pouch things. These just are what come in like parcels and I just keep them and put them in my drawers to suck out any moisture. And then moving on to concealers, I have a few. So firstly, I have the Wet n Wild concealer. I again bought this for my testing Beauty Base Cheapest Makeup. I've literally used it once and I haven't used it since. So I just used it for that video. And to be honest, I have better concealers anyway. So I will be giving this to a family or friend. And then I have the Revolution Fast Base Concealer. I really like this concealer. It's a really good coverage concealer, um, but it isn't heavy. So I will be keeping this along with the Revolution Infinite Concealer. And then I have two of the Benefit Boing Concealers. I kept both of them because this one I wanted to completely use up, but I just went straight on to using this one. So I think I'm literally just gonna chuck this in the bin and then i'll obviously be keeping the full one because this is one of my favorite concealers i love this concealer it's in the shade too and then i have the maybelline instant age rewind concealer again this is a really good concealer for like a lightweight concealer but still with good coverage so i'll be keeping this one and then I have my Revolution Pro Concealer. This is the full cover camouflage concealer. And this is just a really, really heavy concealer. It's really good coverage, as the name would suggest, but I just rarely ever use it. And then finally, I have my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I bought this uh, like a week ago and I flipping love it. So I will definitely be keeping this. This, along with the Benefit Boy Concealer, are my favorite concealers. And then moving on to this basket here, this is a really random basket. I just have like powders, primers, setting spray, like it's really random and I just need to sort it out basically. So I firstly have this Benefit Professional Primer sample. I've already got the Benefit Professional Primer so I'm going to give this to a family or friend to try just because I obviously don't need it. And then I have the Jekka Black Glow Drops. These I got in a glossy box, my last glossy box actually. And I really, really want to try these. It's a highlighting primer. Um, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this. And then I have the Milk Makeup Primer. You guys know I tried this in my last video and I love it. So I'm definitely not going to be getting rid of this. Along with my Ordinary High Adherence Primer. And then I'll obviously be keeping my Benefit Too Faced Primer. What? I'll obviously be keeping my Too Faced Hangover Primer. I love that along with all of these yeah so i'm going to be keeping all my professional and i'm going to be keeping my bare minerals complexion rescue defense too and then i'm finally i have the avant primer this i got in a glossy box and i know it's so expensive but i just do not use it so i'm going to give this to my mum because i gave her the night cream too so yeah i'm just going to give that to my mum and she'll probably use that more than what i have i haven't used it at all and then for powders, so I have my MAC Studio Fix powder, which I will definitely be keeping. This is like my go-to powder. I love it. Um, it's a powder foundation, but I just find it so good over liquid foundation. It just adds a little bit more coverage. So I'll definitely be keeping that along with my Maybelline Fit Me powder and my Revolution Pro powder. This powder is fairly new. This May powder I use under my eyes. I really like it. And then this powder I actually bought last week i've only used it once but i flipping love it so i mean i'm definitely keeping that and i actually bought some more baskets to store makeup in i've just bought some of these um baskets from wham it's called i just picked these up in morrison's this is the brand that all my baskets are from i think um so yeah i picked some more up just to organize my makeup a bit more so i think in this one i'm gonna put primer and then in this one, I'll keep my powders because obviously they're a bit bulkier. And then I have setting sprays. This is the last thing that I keep in this drawer, but as you can see, like I ran out of room. 
So firstly, I'll just go to these two. I have like two glow sprays. I have the Candy Cosmetics one and then the Iconic London one. And I mean, I'm definitely gonna be keeping my Iconic one because I prefer it so much more to this Candy Cosmetics one. I got the Candy Cosmetics one in a glossy box and I just find that it's so glittery on the face and it leaves like random splodges of glitter. This along with my Urban Decay are my two favorite setting sprays. So obviously I'll be keeping those. And then the last few setting sprays I have, I have another one, where is it? So these two or three actually aren't really strictly setting sprays. These are the Mario Badescu sprays and then I have the Jake Jamie Tropical Quench Essence Spray. These are more like skincare sprays so I will be keeping all of these. This one I keep in my drawer, my bedside table and I spray this on my face at night. And this one I haven't actually used yet. I probably need to. And then I have the Wet and Wild setting spray. Um, again, this was from my Beauty Beige Cheapest Makeup video, but I just use this to spray my brushes when I need to use like pigments or anything. It's really handy for that, so I will be keeping that just for that purpose, basically. So I think I'm going to just leave it at that for now in this drawer because I want to be able to reach things and not have to reach all the way to the back of my drawer. And that's the problem with these Alex drawers. You do like run out of room when you get to the back and the drawer goes really far back but it doesn't pull out all the way. I know that's really first world problems but I'm just going to leave it at that I think and move on to the next Okay drawer. so then moving on to the second drawer. In this drawer I have bronzers, highlighters and blushes and then I have like eyebrows, eyeliners and mascaras and it's just such a mishmash of things that I I want to just sort this drawer out basically so i'm gonna start off with this <laughs> basket here if i can sort it um so this is bronzers and blushes and i think to be honest i'm gonna be keeping all of my bronzers and blushes just because i like them all oh do i keep my benefit hula I said in my, I think it was my last video that I needed to get Hoola Light, so I might give this to someone else. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this and get Hoola Light instead because this is a bit too dark for me. But otherwise, I'm going to be keeping my Physicians Formula bronzer. This is my favourite bronzer, as you guys know. And then my Huda Tantal, which I love. I've got the Body Shop Honey Bronzer. The Revolution Bronzer. This isn't my favourite, but it is a good drugstore alternative. And then I have blushes so uh you know what i think i might get rid of this blusher palette by barry m i literally use this for ages but now i've got other blusher alternatives i feel like i'm not really going to use this anymore so i think i'm going to give this to a family or friend a family or friend that doesn't make sense a family member or friends family and friends i don't know what i'm saying but yeah, I'll give that to someone else. And then I'm going to be keeping my Milani Luminoso, my L'Oreal Life's a Peach, Revolution Blusher, and my NARS Mini Orgasm. And I think I'm just going to keep my bronzers and blushes together still, just because it's convenient and I have enough room in this basket. Okay, so next, moving on to highlighters. I think this has to be one of my favourite baskets. I flipping love highlighters, as you guys already know. So, I think I'm actually going to be keeping the majority of these because I love them. Um, so, my Benefit Cookie, 100% keeping. This is my favourite highlighter. Can I say that anymore? I love all my highlighters. This is one of my favourite highlighters. I'll do some swatches. Yeah, you can just see, like, it's insane. I mean, look. Same with my Mary Lou. Um, I only bought this a few weeks ago and I really, really like it. It's a bit more like golden than the Benefit Cookie Highlighter, as you can see, but I'm gonna keep it because I love it. Same with my Doll Beauty Highlighter. I bought this for my testing your guys' favorite makeup video and I didn't use it because it didn't come in time, but I absolutely love it. Also, ignore the scratch marks all down my arm. I was playing fetch with my dog at the park and I forgot to give her the ball back and she jumped up at me and scratched all up my arm. She didn't obviously mean to. It was just like a accident, basically. And then I have my Ofra highlighters. So I bloody love Ofra highlighters, so I'm definitely keeping these. This is the Ofra Signature Glow Palette. This has like five mini Ofra highlighters in. It's really good value for money. And then my Ofra Glaze Donut Highlighter. And as you can see, this is very well loved. I've actually not used it as much as I usually would 
recently just because I've got others that I like. And then I have my Revolution highlighters. So I bought this a while ago and to be honest, I just don't use liquid highlighters. This is in the shade Liquid Starlight. I also had Liquid Ethereal and I got rid of that one, but I think I'm going to get rid of this one as well. And then this Revolution highlighter, the Revolution Pro Luster highlighter I'm keeping. Yeah, I love this highlighter. It's so insanely intense, so I'm definitely keeping that. And then I have my Wet n Wild highlighter powder and to be honest, I'm not really that big of a fan of this. It's quite similar to the... Revolution highlighter. I, it's not that I don't like it, but it's just not amazing. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. And I also like, as you can see, it's really similar to the Revolution one and also to the Pillow Talk shade in the Ofra palette, which I mean, if I'm going to go for a pink highlighter, it will be this one. And then finally, I have the Sleek Solstice palette. So this is so massively raved or was so massively raved about. But I bought it and I'm just really not that big of a fan of it anymore, I think. I mean, it's such a nice palette, but I have got the same shades in other palettes, really. I kind of want to keep it just because, I mean, look at those swatches, but I just don't reach for it. And I feel like someone else could get better use of it. No, I'm getting rid of it because... Do I? But then I don't have many drugstore highlighters. Oh, I'm in two minds. I'm going to keep it because I'm hesitating. So I obviously do want to keep it. And then moving on to this basket here. This is my mascara eyeliner random basket to be honest. Um, so I have some cotton buds. I don't know why these are in here, so let's take those out. I am firstly just going to get rid of this NARS Climax mascara. I, to be honest, just don't use it. I don't really tend to use mini mascaras. And then I have an Ico mini mascara, but this is more of like generous size, so I think I will give this a go. This I got in a glossy box, my last glossy box. I don't actually have any waterproof mascaras and this is a waterproof one so I will just keep it in case I need a waterproof mascara but it's very rare that I do use them. And then I have my Benefit Bad Girl Bangs which I'm definitely keeping because this along with the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara are my favourite mascaras. And then I have the Mislin Intense Volume Mascara and the Spectrum Dark Matter Mascara. I think I'm going to keep the Dark Matter Mascara but give this Miss Slim mascara to probably to my mum and then I just have my Maybelline Lash Sensational which you guys already know is my favourite drugstore mascara and my eyelash curlers. My camera keeps trying to focus on this because it's got an eye and an eyebrow on and a nose and lips actually. And then finally I have my Glisten Cosmetics wet liners. Definitely keeping these. I love these. I just need to find a better place for them. And then next, moving on to my brow basket. So you'll see the majority of my brow products are um, Benefit brow products because I love them. So definitely keeping all of those. I have all of those in the shade three and my favorite is the foolproof brow powder. And then for brow gels, drugstore ones, I have the Model Co brow gel and the Rimmel brow gel. I'm gonna keep these just because they're clear ones and I don't have any other clear brow gels. And then two things that I'm going to be getting rid of. I have the Revolution, what the heck is this called? Brow pen. I used this in my Beauty Bay's Cheapest Makeup video and I absolutely hated it. It was horrific as you guys saw. So I'll give that to like someone else and see if they have any luck with it. And then this is the L'Oreal Unbeliever Brow. I've had this for more than six months actually, so maybe I should get rid. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid just because it doesn't smell too great. And then I have my L'Oreal Paradise Pomade. This is a good pomade, but it's dried up. Someone could probably save it, but I'm just not even gonna try. I'm just gonna give it to like my cousin or something because she's just getting into makeup and I don't really think she's that fussy. So this is my eyeliner basket, eye base basket, cream eyeshadow basket, literally the most random basket. So 
I need to sort this out desperately, basically. So I'm going to take out all my collection Glam Crystals liners because I know I'm going to keep these. I haven't had them for long. I am just going to smell this one, though, because I feel like I've had this one the longest. No, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this one in the shade Cosmic Stars because it doesn't smell great. It smells really chemically. And then I have this NYX pigment. I got this in, like, a gift set, but I haven't used it, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And then for pencil liners, I have three, I believe. So I'm going to keep all of these because there's a brown, a nude, and a black. I do want to invest in some better pencil liners. And then cream eyeshadows, I have three here. These are like random ones that I've got in glossy boxes. And to be honest, they're all really similar shades. So I will swatch them and just see if it's worth keeping them all. So this is the Model Coat Liquid Shadow in the shade champagne the next one is the bella pia eye candy shadow in the shade venus oh you know what they are quite different similar but different i'm gonna keep both of those i'll just put them with my glitters and then this is the i think it's mina cream eyeshadow in the shade 313 i'm gonna give this one to my family or friends just because i don't use it Okay, and then finally I have liquid liners and my P. Louise base, and you all know I'm keeping my P. Louise base because I love it, no way I'm getting rid of that. And then yeah, the rest are liquid liners. So I have the collection Fast Stroke liner, this is a white liner, and to be honest it isn't great, but I'm going to keep it just because I don't have another. And then I have my NYX Epic Ink liner, I love this liner, it's probably my favourite black liner so far, so I'm going to keep that. And then I have the Revolution, what are these, Mod Renaissance liners, is that what they're called? Yeah, the Re Renaissance liners, so I have a black one and a brown one. The black one I've had quite a while, and it tends to bleed. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of my Revolution black liner anyway, my brown one's new. And then I have the Ciate stamp liner, this I got in a glossy box, and I haven't really used it because it scares me, but you can see like it leaves a literal stamp. So I'm going to keep that and give that a go. And then I have my Kat Von D. Can I call it that? Or is it KVD? This is the tattoo liner. So I'm going to keep that because it's so hyped about and I need to use it up some more. And then I have my Huda Beauty Life liner. I got this in a glossy box and I haven't used it yet. Oh, this has a pencil liner in it. So do I get rid of that other black one that I have? So I'm going to keep this one and get rid of my Emco Beauty liner just because I find it isn't that black on the waterline you have to really press down hard as you can see so I am going to get rid of this one and keep the life liner instead okay so in this basket I think I'm going to keep my liquid liners like my black and brown ones and my like normal colour pencil liners and then keep all my like funky colors in a different basket just because it separates them a bit more and makes it a bit easier for me to find so then this basket here i'm gonna keep my glitter liners in and then i'll put my glitter and cosmetics wet liners in here too okay and then for organization in this drawer i'm gonna take out the eye products that were in here i'm going to use this second drawer as the for the rest of my base products so in the top drawer you'll see i had primers and foundations and skincare so now i'm going to put powders in this drawer and bronzers and blushes i think i might also put setting sprays in with my powders just because i need somewhere to put them okay and then my third drawer down is literally a mess of a drawer i think i'm going to just take everything out and start again with it so starting off with this basket here this is my lash basket and this is absolutely fine to be honest and then in this drawer here i have all my glitters from glisten cosmetics so this bas not this drawer sorry this basket so i mean i'm keeping them all because they're all beautiful and there's not a chance in hell i'm getting rid of them and then at the back of this drawer here i have a skincare basket um so literally i've just chucked everything in here and some of it i don't even use so the revolution niacinamide is it i tried this for a few weeks and it broke me out a lot so i'm gonna give that to someone else to use because it didn't agree with my skin and then i literally just have soaps super foliant face masks face wash I think everything else in here is fine to be honest. I just need to find somewhere else for it because it's not 
Oh, it's, it doesn't need to be in there. It's just in the way. So now because I've separated my drawers out and made a bit more room for everything, I need somewhere to put my mascaras, liners and eyebrow stuff. So these two baskets I'm going to just take out for now. So I'm going to put my mascaras and brow products there. And then I'm going to put liners here along with my coloured liners as well in glitter liners. Okay, so then for my fourth drawdown, this again is just a mishmash of stuff that needs organising. Um, so I'm going to just take everything out and start again with it basically. This is just a random drawer of random crap that doesn't need to be in here. Starting off with this basket here. This is my fake tan basket slash Harry's crap basket. So like Harry shower gels and things and he is trying to use them up now because he didn't realise he had this much. But yeah, it needs sorting. So firstly I'm going to take this out of here. This L'Oreal Sun Shimmer, I've had this for the longest time and I think it's definitely out of date. Yeah, that's definitely out of date. I'm getting rid of that. Okay, so that's Harry's basket. That's fine like that. So then my fake tan, I think I'm literally just going to put down the edge here because it doesn't need to be in a basket. I've literally only got these three things. This basket here was the skincare soap basket, the random one. So I'm going to just keep that as that is because it's fine. Okay, I think I'm finally done. I hope to God I am because had enough if you can't already tell so yeah i've got rid of quite a lot actually i'm quite proud of myself i'm a bit of a makeup hoarder if you can't already tell so i'm proud i did get rid of a lot and i know that my family and friends will make better use of this so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please remember to like comment and subscribe because it really helps me out i'm not really sure what i'm doing just ignore me so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video please remember to like comment and subscribe if you did and let me know if you want me to do some more of these in the future because it is highly likely that i will because my collection is expanding so much so yeah do let me know if you want me to do more and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.